Here is a quick demonstration of the Audix SCX25A large diaphragm condenser microphone on the acoustic guitar. This microphone features a cardioid polar pattern. We are using no equalization nor compression on these audio tracks. You will see and hear this microphone in four different mic positions. First, the SCX25 is set directly in front of the 12th fret, 8 inches in front of the strings. This is a good mic position to get a nicely balanced guitar tone. It doesn't pick up too much bass from the guitar because it's not pointed at the sound hole. This is a fairly typical studio microphone position. Now we'll turn the microphone about 45 degrees off axis so that it's pointing towards the sound hole. It's still 8 inches in front of the strings at the 12th fret, but it's looking at a different point on the guitar. This is similar in sound to the first position, but produces a little bit more finger noise when picking and has a little bit more low end response because it's pointing at the sound hole. Now we'll move the mic so that it's directly in front of the sound hole and 10 inches from the strings. This position will reproduce the most bass response from the guitar because it's pointed directly into the sound hole which is where all the low end energy is being produced. If you are recording a guitar that sounds thin and doesn't have a lot of bass, this position might be a good choice. On larger guitars, this might yield too much bass. Now we'll turn the mic about 45 degrees away from the sound hole so that it's looking at the 12th fret of the guitar. The mic is still 10 inches directly in front of the sound hole. This position isn't as boomy as the previous one, but still has a very full and rich sound. Visit the Audix website www.audixusa.com for more videos and information about miking instruments and vocals.